All right, welcome back to the taping series and today we're going through lower back taping and we're gonna do this with rigid tape because we're trying to sort of lock up the lower back and stop it going into flexion. Now this is only good for people who need to be stopped going into flexion. So the people that hate going into flexion with an acute back injury, maybe it's an acute disc problem or very high acute back spasm where they've just injured themselves and we need to rest the back, we need to stop them going into flexion while they recover and then of course slowly regain their flexion. But this is in the initial stages where they're in lots of pain and any sort of bending forward is really painful where they flex their spine, they want to be held in extension or they get pain from sitting, that sort of thing. Maybe they have to keep carrying on their life where they have to carry kids or carry things or go to work and they've got all this back pain. We do a taping to hold them almost like a back brace, but it's way more effective than a back brace because it's on the skin, gives them that biofeedback to try and stop them bending forward, gives them some support, and that also drops down some of the back spasm. So we also use this if they're in lots of spasm to try and drop that down, because if we give that lower back some more support, almost like strength if you like, we keep it in a pain-free position, as less, less pain as they possibly can have, They'll get a reduction in their pain, reduction in their spasm, they'll get better faster, and then we can move on with the physio. So, I use rigid sports tape. Um, underneath that, for most people, because you know we might see them on a Monday, we might be able to see them until a Thursday, they need to keep this tape on their skin. Some people get really irritated. I use a, what we call, all fix or Therafix. It is a porous tape. So this tape would go underneath the sports tape to protect the skin. It creates a bit of a barrier, like a sort of breathing barrier. I won't show that today because it's gonna double up our time, but if you imagine underneath all this tape, you're gonna have the sports, or well, the Therafix tape, and that'll make it last for ages, because hey, the sports tape's only designed to be on the skin for sort of maybe half a day or so. So if you are one of those people who suffers from rashes or irritation from sports tape, then use the underwrap. Now, what we tend to do is create almost, think of like a bracing system. We're trying to utilize the fascia, the lumbar fascia, like a cross sling, okay? So we're trying to utilize a lat through to the glute on one side and across on the other side. We're also trying to tape vertically down your extensors through there. And we're also gonna have some lock offs, which is basically tape to tape. So the tape's not directly pulling on the skin. So first of all, I need to create an anchor. Now, I've got Elise in this position because she's in that sort of lumbar extension, which is what I still want to keep her in. If you've got a client that hates this position, like hates if they're an acute client and they hate being on the front, you'll have to do it in the sitting. It's a lot harder to do in the sitting. So I like, if, if they possibly can, do it in lying down because, hey, it's way easier to get the tape, you know, perfect. Um, but also they can rest in that position and you keep them in that either neutral or a little bit of extension. So when you've got that tape on, when they come up, they're held in that position, they can't go forward, which is really comforting for those people who have got that acute back spasm. So listen, we don't do this often because you know a lot of the time we can get them better with a physio session, um, but some people just need to be taped for a few days just to calm things down and this is what we do for those people. So a sort of like a lock strap at the top because that's what the tape's gonna hook onto and then you want one at the bottom. Now, you wanna be trying to be right over sort of the PSIS, which is your sacrum, so over that back of the pelvis like that to create a bit of an anchor point. So not over the lower back, over a little bit further down. Um, and then what I'd do to start off with is I'd do a vertical strip first. So the two vertical strips first and then you're going for the diagonals. Now, this vertical strip, you don't have to be super tight because remember, they're already in extension, so you don't have to really crank it up. I would just simply go from maybe a little bit above that first taping point, okay? And see, so you don't want to be like that and then push it down. What you need to be is pretty firm though and tape it like that. Whoop, and it comes off already. So make sure, anchor that down. That's why I put that part because it does come off the skin. So I needed to just push that down on that bit of tape first. And then you just gently push that down like that. So it's sort of taut all the way down, right? But it, it still sticks to the skin. It's not sitting above the skin at all. You're not puckering that any further than what it needs to be. You don't need to ram into extension any more than they already are at the moment. So that's your first one. Second one, Again, you're over the, like the paraspinal, you're over those extensors, they're the ones that are in a bit of spasm. The comforting thing for taping 
gives a bit of biofeedback too. Some of it's mechanical, some of it is psychological, meaning you're getting some feedback through that skin about support, and that gives them confidence. It stops them being in so much spasm, and it does give that brain a bit of a trickery, if you like, to relax a little bit more so they can move and they can get better faster. So that's your two strips. Then I would go, doesn't matter which way, you'd go measure it up, go one diagonal. So you're going from left to right. Think of like where that lumbar fascia is crossing. You're gonna go from that side over to the opposite hip, like that, okay? Just make sure it's all pushed down nice and flat. The flatter the tape, the better, okay? If you can keep this tape in a flat and nice looking position, not only does it, look, it may look nice, but pucker tape mechanically doesn't work very well. So the flatter the skin, the better. So you can see how I can pull on that. I don't wanna to go too much and pull on that too much. I just wanna be making sure that's firm all the way through. So you basically, it's as taut as that tape can be in that position. So there's your two. Now, if you feel that's not enough, you can overlay it with another couple. But to be honest, that's probably going to be enough to give them enough feedback and stop them going forward. So what you do after that is just lock it off. So if I do this and just lock off the top so they're not going to fall. Because remember, they're going to be on the skin for a bit. They're going to have showers. They're going to take clothes on and off. You don't want it coming off, so I'd go over the tape, lock them down, and then back on the skin. So you see how I've done that? So not just straight on the skin, over some of the tape and over the skin. Almost like sort of one and a half, if you like. And same with the bottom one here. Try and go, if you like, instead of being there, go over the bottom part of it like that. Okay, so you can cover the base part of that point, and then there you go. And just make sure it's all taped down. And obviously, get that person up in the flexion, and I'll show you what I want you to do there. So, now that we've got them standing, she can already feel that's holding herself up. But as she tries to go forward, you try and go forward for me, the tape starts pulling, and it gives her that feedback to go, hey, don't do that. So, this is a sort of a thing, yes, of course, people will not want to go forward because of pain, but what it triggers them is to sort of, hey, stop them going forward, and then, it shows them to hinge the hips. So if they want to go forward, it teaches them to keep their back straight, and then go into a hip hinge, which is exactly what we want, okay? We want to protect the spine in the acute phase by not bending forward, keep them in their neutral spine, bend the hips, which is what the tape's gonna do. One, it gives them support and helps switch off some of that spasm, but as they move during the day, they're gonna start moving more at the hips, bracing more at the spine to control their pain and to let it settle down. Of course, as they improve, our job is to try and get them bending forward more and actually bending at the spine and not bracing. But the acute phase, we, we just have to keep them in neutral. This is so helpful when they go forward. So try that again for me, Elise. When they go forward, they get that feedback. It just keeps them in that nice position, which again is gonna help them for those first sort of few days to a week to recover. So there's your taping. See you next time.